Export has always contributed significantly to Jamaica's gross domestic product to GDP. With this fact in mind, the Jamaica Promotions Corporation, JAMPRO, launched an Export Max program in 2011 to provide capacity building and market penetration support to 15 Jamaican export firms. JNN now presents highlights of JAMPRO's 2014 official closing ceremony of the award-winning Export Max program. The Export Max uh, development program started two years ago, has delivered outstanding results, which will be shared uh, with all of us amongst ourselves today and with the media uh, who are out in their numbers to cover this event. In particular, I'd like to welcome Jamaica News Network, uh, who are asked to partner with JAMPRO on its export development initiatives and to bring more exposure. They're covering this event and they will be carrying it over and over on their cable channel network. Let me get some preliminaries out of the way. This event is in honor of the productive work of 15 fine Jamaican companies who export all over the world. Um, I want to recognize them before I go any further this morning. Uh, a Taste of the Caribbean. I think Miss Sonia Dunstan is representing that organization. I don't see Sonia. She here today. No doubt on her way. Canco Limited. Mrs. Jean Dwa. Is she here? Sorry. Dorothy's here. Welcome, Dorothy. Central Food Packers. I uh, know Natalie Grandison. Maybe she's on her way. Not here yet. Uh, Chocolate Dreams. Uh, Michelle Smith. Gray's Pepper Products Limited, Mr. Andrew Gray. Heather Lane Limited, this is Zoe Summers. Jam Road Trading Manufacturing Company Limited, uh, Ms. Shari Ruddock representing that organization. PA Benjamin Limited, I see Mrs. Patricia Anderson coming in. And I saw earlier Julian Rodney, the MD of, of, of of uh, Salada Foods, who is also another uh, fine export manufacturer. Perishables Jamaica Limited. Uh, Mr. Norman Wright is here. I did see him. Norman, could you stand? Oh, Norman, over here. Southern Fruits and Food Processors Limited, Mr. Ken Vassell. Welcome, Mr. Vassell. Nice to meet you. I've heard a lot about you. Southside Distributors Limited, Ms. Denise Palmer. Uh, Sun Island Jamaica Limited, Miss Jenny for Young, welcome. Uh, Taiju Limited, Mr. Roy Newell, hello, Mr. Newell. And Winley Trading, Mrs. Winsome Halliman and Mr. Earl McEwen. I saw them earlier, they were there deliberating how they're going to get out these big orders later today. <laughs> I mean, Winsome says, Mark, I'm very stressed. I said, Well, it's good stress to have. So, Without further ado, I'm going to invite to officially move the welcome and bring his own opening remarks, our Vice President of Export and Market Development, Robert Scott. Please welcome Robert. Too often we hear of things being started, but at its conclusion, it's perhaps maybe a mumble. So for us to be able to hear, to call to the success of a program, and really share the highlights, I think, is really a very important thing for us to do. When I look at the work by my team in putting this through the several conversations that they have had and really going all out to bring value to this program, I am really, really humbled by their, their efforts and I'm even more humbled by the success of the program. And I think of the export program, export mass program, as a stool with, with three legs. We're talking about very good companies, we're talking about very good products, and also very good support by Jampro. And certainly working together creates the stability which will help your companies to grow. At the end of this program, it's not that we're just going to be moving to Export Max 2, but certainly you will always be a part of Jampro and Jampro's thrust towards growing exports. It is with great pleasure 
that the Bureau of Standards is here today. What we have is our trade promotion organization, our national standards body, and exporters. I am sure you will all agree that that is a formula for success and economic growth. We have to pay tribute to the number of companies which have, over the past two years, achieved significant growth in export sales. I have been advised that this was 28%. The BSJ, in collaboration with Jampro, have provided services under an MOU, facilitating trade competitiveness and development in the amount of some $9.4 million, in which we agreed to give these services at a discounted rate. Fifteen companies have embraced these services. One of these entities is a part of the BSJ's national certification mark for plant and product. We have another five that are HACCP certified and one ISO 9001. The Trade Promotion Organization provides market information and as a national standards body, we are developing national standards for the country and we are also the representative for international and other regional standards organization. The Trade Promotion Organization provides market information and as a national standards body, we are developing national standards for the country and we are also the representative for international and other regional standards organization. Other services provided by the Bureau includes product testing, equipment calibration, certification for processed foods to satisfy export market requirements, example approval certificates, export certificates, certificates of free sale, product and management system certification, information on market access requirements such as standards, technical regulations, packaging and labeling requirements through our national TBT inquiry point. Ten good things for SMEs. We all know that the small business sector is the engine of growth. We frequently hear that we must, the small business sector must be developed. If we want to achieve economic growth, we must have our small, medium-sized enterprises as a major part of that formula. Ten good things ISO standards can do for SMEs. Standards help you compete on a level playing field with bigger enterprises. Standards open up export markets for your products and services. Standards help you discover best business practices. Standards drive efficiency in your business, in your business operations. They add credibility and confidence for your customers, a key part of your success. If your customers are not confident with the product, then you will not have success. Standards open new business opportunities and sales. Standards give you the competitive edge. Standards make your brand name internationally recognized. This is what your trade promotion organization does, help you in putting your products in that international marketplace. Standards help your company grow. Standards enable, and most important, a common language to be used across an industry sector. This, ladies and gentlemen, I believe are, is significant and will contribute to successful economic growth. And so as agencies of the Ministry of Industry, Investment and Commerce, and as we go forward moving from strength to strength, might I encourage us all to continue with our collaborative effort as this can only redound to the success of all. Ladies and gentlemen, capacity development is still high on the agenda. It's still an important priority for SMEs. And this is why programs like these continue to be needed and programs like the Export Max um, project to provide focused capacity development and capacity building to support market penetration for the participating companies. DBJ remains committed to facilitating the SME industry. I'm proud to say that last year, in the last financial year, DBJ approved some 8,000 loans valued at 1.4 billion to that sector. This year alone, if you recall in April, 
when um, doing the budget um, debates. Our portfolio minister, the Minister of Finance, gave us an ambitious target of two billion um, in, in credit to the, to the M and SME sector. I am very, very proud to announce that as at the end of December, DBJ was able to disburse some 1.8 billion to the sector. That's 92% of the target. <laughs> and capacity development, in fact, is a major strategy to drive that kind of, of, of loan disbursement. In fact, DBJ has invested and leveraged over $1 million in various capacity development programs like Export Max to drive capacity development to better enable SMEs to facilitate financing. We invested $5 million in the project, and we envisioned that the Ex Export Max project would be an opportunity through which our goal to be the catalyst for the promotion of economic growth and development through capacity development could be achieved. And we are not disappointed. We note the positive impact that the project has had so far, not only on the participants themselves, but also in the contribution in the developing and catalyzing the export sector. So we congratulate JAMPRO for the success of the Export Max project in terms of increasing export sales, the facilitation of contracts, the penetration of new markets, and the facilitation of financing. DBJ is proud to be a part of projects like this that deliver real, tangible value for SMEs and for the Jamaican economy. It is for this reason that I'm pleased to announce DBJ's commitment to continue this journey with JAMPRO in the, Export to, in the, in the Export Max 2 project. And we look forward to an even more successful round of targeted and impactful and meaningful capacity development for our SME exporters. And we will go the distance with JAMPRO and look forward to continued sustainable economic growth and development for our country. Thank you. We are here to acknowledge the 15 export winning companies with whom we at JAMPRO have had the pleasure to work over the past two years to build their capacity for the export markets for quality Jamaican products and services. I welcome the owners and managers of these companies and we will say a lot more about them in short order. We also want to acknowledge the Bureau of Standards led by Ms. Hall. Um, an old colleague of mine, Ms. Hall and I go back a long way to, um, she is a Jampro-ite, if I may so dub you. Um, really important role that standards play in all our exports. Absolutely vital that we recognize standards, that we mutually recognize standards, and that we get our trading partners to recognize standards. We all know the challenges we've had with CARICOM trading partners, and I think it is important that we have mutual recognition of those standards. So standards will play an increasingly important role. Productivity, as we know, is one of the big challenges for our country going forward, and it is important that we learn how to improve and increase that productivity, because if we are to meet global standards, we have to meet productivity growth. We have to foster productivity growth in our country, because that's the only way we will ever become world class. I also want to acknowledge our very own Export and Market Development Division led by Robert Scott because I think really the team has played a, such a powerful role in supporting all of our exporting companies who have participated in this program. And particular tribute to Marlene Porter and her team because they have been <laughs> the ones to have carried the torch really and, and supported your companies into the marketplace. We have to start operating on a single economic platform. Jamaica has to get global. We have to not think local, but we have to think global and act global. That's the imperative that we have to follow. The logistics hub is an enabler. It should improve immeasurably our export competitiveness by providing greater access and reducing um, our logistics costs in accessing markets. I think that there is a synergy between the two programs that we have to start to, to work on and to exploit in order to develop our global marketing capacity. And we are mindful at JAMPRO that 
the whole export business is a marathon, it's not a sprint. So this is really for the slow and steady, and this is really for those who are interested in establishing and taking market share. We have to develop, focus on the markets that we penetrate, and we have to try to develop a market share of those markets, not just develop um, export one box and walk away. I would like to thank the Export Max producers and exporters for your hard work that actually is making us look good. We think this is a partnership between the two of us and a partnership we want to see continue. In November 2012, JAMPRO was awarded the best trade promotion organization under the small island developing state category by the International Trade Center for its Export Max program. So that's all of you. I am very passionate about the Export Max program. I believe that this program offers uh, significant benefits and we, if we get more support, President, under this program, we can certainly do a lot more for our SMEs. We're really at the end of the program. Two years passed by and it seemed only like yesterday, Mark, that we launched the program. In, in implementing the program, we had to agree on some roles, some responsibilities, and uh, we also needed to engage the partners and for the partners to understand what the program was really about. And so we, had, we sat at the table and we developed our MOUs, and therein we set the framework for the rollout of the program. One of the other areas that we found we really need to look at going forward is how to engage the partners earlier because they, uh, as you can see, having the support right up front helps us to organize and implement activities earlier rather than later. And we, cert we can speak in particular to one initiative they were they, with the Productivity Center, for example. Had we signed off our reach and agreement with the partner earlier in the day, we would have been able to implement that and it could provide some sort of guidance early to the companies in the program. So we really understand the importance of engaging the partners, looking fully at the program, the needs, the gaps, and seeing that, and, and looking, and ensuring that we have the systems and in place to make it happen. So, those really were the major shortcomings that we saw under the program, and as I said, we're going to look at how we can build on it going forward. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all. I thank the Export Max companies for your cooperation, for your just understanding throughout the whole program. And just remember, we have said it in our one-on-one, -on -one, the program is over, but Jamper is here for you, and we'll always be there. Please call us anytime, and we'll be there. Thank you. Let's hear what some of the company representatives have to say about their experience in the Export to Max 1 program. Southside distributors did not just, was not just involved and merely have the name of an Export Max company. We have achieved a lot. We were able to have achieved market penetration, not only locally, but ex uh, internationally as well. We have been to trade shows, we have been involved in a lot of training, we have got a lot of mentorship, hand-holding exercise coming from Lakida, who sometimes is in the background, Natalie. We have adopted Natalie, Natalie is a part of Southside forever. We will not allow her to leave us. So Southside has benefited a lot. We have grown over the year, over the two years. We have grown not only in terms of infrastructure, but also in terms of revenue, bringing in revenue, um, U.S. dollars into the country and contributing to the economy through the Export Max program. And I would like to say thank you on behalf of Southside to all the sponsors, everybody that has contributed, and to all, everybody that has held us through. And I'm so happy and proud today to say to you that I felt good when I heard that you will be there for us and we will be there as well. And I implore the Export Max companies round two, to get involved, really get involved and partake in just about everything you possibly can. I did that. I tried to get involved. I was everywhere. I was like water in everything that's possible. I was there. 
So I got involved and it pays off. It pays off. It's the compound effect. You get benefits here, you get benefits there, you get mentorship here, you get mentorship there, and networking here and there, and the compound effect has paid off for us. We have seen the results. Jampro is continuously seeking to stimulate and facilitate and promote the development of trade and investment in all sectors of Jamaica's economy. As part of its ongoing quest to leverage the competitive advantages of all Jamaican exporters, Salada Foods was selected among a group of 15 companies for the Export Max Enterprise Development for Export Program in October 2011. We were provided with access to a range of value-added services, business development, export promotion services, as we seek to position ourselves to compete internationally and maximize our export sales. An export marketing plan was devised for Salada Foods, which helped us to participate in this program. This plan was specifically designed to provide the necessary strategic directions and a hands-on approach to enable us to succeed with a sustainable penetration into viable export markets. Based on packaging and labeling requirements, we also initiated the inclusion of nutritional guidelines for individual brands as part of our brand development exercise. For us at Salada, it grew our sales by, our export sales by over 60%. Yeah. The, some of the markets, some of the markets that, and that's between 2011 and 2013, some of the markets that we targeted were the European Union. Um, we had a significant penetration into um, China, uh, where we, we actually spent over a month in China working with the markets there. Um, we went into Haiti, and uh, actually we'll be visiting Haiti in, in the coming weeks to try and grow that penetration there. Uh, some of the benefits that arose for us is one where we really didn't think we had a significant opportunity, and that's in the ginger Jamaican ginger space, where our ginger exports, when we started the program, we were purchasing about 60,000 pounds of ginger in the market. Right now, in 2013, we moved that up to 300,000 pounds, and we're a significant player in the ginger export business. As a value-added product, it's all value-added in this case. I'm particularly pleased to be part of this special moment and even more so as I share my journey during the Export Max program. A two-year journey that has ended just too fast. One I would describe as a whirlwind of experience. My relationship with Jampro predated the Export Max program, a relation which started just under five years ago, one that I vividly recall when my, bus my business development officer and myself trekked down to the Jampro offices inspired by the strong belief of the role that SMEs should play in economic survival and prosperity, and motivated by a charge by the various intellectuals and policymakers that you either export or die. For my business, I did not see death as a possibility. <laughs> so we wanted to know what role could Jampro play in ensuring that we export rather than die. I must confess, however, that I did not put much faith in the visit, as I felt that Jampro was going to be another of those institutions that failed to deliver on promises. But oh, we were in for a rude awakening because we met Claudine Blackwood, and she showed us and told us all about the disappointments that we may have had, but the Jampro stood ready to help us. She spent nearly two hours with us that afternoon, convincing us that Jampo could provide us with that support. And then we were introduced to Lakida and her team. I believe that Lakida saw potential in us, but saw that we lacked the resources to take advantage of the export market. So when the Export Max program was being introduced, she recommended that we apply and we were selected. A program that has provided us with that opportunity to reignite our vision for export. Being selected for the Export Max program has allowed us to become a part of the Jampro family 
And so we have been provided with the opportunity to re-engineer re some of our business processes, given support on strategies to penetrate new markets and channels of distribution. We were taken on trade shows, Trinidad, Cuba, Domrep. So say I got, oh, he left? He, I, I, as I saw him, I remember Domrep. And as far across the seas as China, allowing us to be part of your delegation and encouraging us to visit other islands on our own where you could not take us. And of course, we cannot forget the local shows. It has been a knowledge-breaking experience to learn about the new markets. We proudly say that our sales have increased in all the markets that we now participate. We are also very grateful for the knowledge sharing, consultancy support on marketing plans, setting up of a more attractive website, social media, and more than anything else, more than anything else, helping us to strategize and network. Thanks for remembering to send us the communication on grant funding and making sure that we applied. <laughs> we fell in love with grant funding and did benefit from some of them. Okay, Winley Trading Company is a sportswear company and we are in the business of the manufacturing of sportswear. Essentially, when the Export Max program came on stream, they gave us great support. It had to do with um, strategizing, networking, getting us into, um, helping us with market penetration into new markets. Um, actually, they helped us with business plans, marketing plans, and more than anything else, they helped, us, they, they, they helped us with how we could get our products to do better on the international market. And that has to do a lot with um, how competitive our products with were. So, in fact, the guidance that we were provided through consultancy works with the Export Max persons helped us to get into the international market. We were also beneficiaries of trade shows meeting new um, interested um, partners and being able to work with them. We, we were able to increase our sales. We were able to re-energize our business processes and to become more competitive in the international market as well as in the local market. So some of the um, companies that we try to work with in the international market through the Export Max program, we were able to work with them. And as a result of that, our business in that field has grown considerably. We have been awarded today <laughs> with, um, with, for our performance and we, re we received the top award which we are very proud of. But more than, more than anything else, I'm more than grateful for the help that they provided to us during the two years that um, they worked with us. That for me is the greatest incentive that we could have gotten. For us, we, we came on as a sponsor pretty early in the program. We saw it as an opportunity to focus on supporting small to medium-sized businesses and we thought that this is an excellent program for us. We not only provide electricity for just about most of the companies throughout the island but we also provide economic support. So we sponsor, we are, we are always looking for programs like these to sponsor and to become involved. Because when small companies grow, when medium-sized companies grow as well, we grow as a company. Jampro has always been a very, very professional entity in terms of how they, how they go about dealing with the various companies. And we have found that it has been very rewarding. And being here today as a, as a sponsor, seeing the closeout of Program 1, it has been very, very rewarding to hear some of the some of the achievements of the program and the outcomes of the program. For the Export Max program, we were guided in developing our export business plan 
and we were also advised as to requirements for packaging, some packaging requirements to enter various export markets. Uh, we also benefited from audits from the Jamaica Productivity Center under this program. And how has your business grown or developed under the program? Uh, or the export part of our business has certainly developed. Uh, for the two years, we have seen approximately 60% growth in our export market. We have also penetrated new areas as well under the plan as a result of our trade visits, participation in the trade visits under the Export Max plan. Okay, are there any special incentives received from Jampro due to the successful, you know, completing the first Yes, we were given uh, reduced fees from some of the agencies such as the Scientific Research Council and uh, we were also <coughs> guided into, into um, participating in other cost-saving initiatives. What are some of the projects that we are involved in? Well, we were involved with the Export Max program to the extent that we participated in trade shows. We were sent on trade missions overseas on European study tour to visit uh, Germany, France and the UK to meet with potential distributors and uh, government agencies and non-governmental agencies. Uh, we also were participating in training activities wherein the members of our staff were sent to FinPIME programs or to the BR standards training that were available. So we got a lot of benefit in that respect in terms of the exposure to the Export Max program and the benefits that they had to offer. Okay. And uh, how has your business grown and developed under the Export Max program? Oh, well, our sales at the start of 2011 and when we closed at 2013 mm -hmm. has increased by some 45 percent, mm -hmm. right, over the two-year period. And our exports, we have grown significantly, our export markets in Canada. We have uh, tapped into a new market in the Ma New York area, sorry. We have started to ship into Barbados. We have also uh, uh, some funding through the Development Bank of Jamaica where they gave us working capital funds so we were able to introduce new products a new brand of product, okay. the Sipper Copper Idol Jamaican brand, and that um, has products like neem, moringa, guinea hen weed, yes. and uh, turmeric okay. as well in that range of products, that brand of products. We've also, with that working capital, been able to expand our storage space, mm -hmm. so we've benefited significantly from that component in terms of our business growing and continues to grow. We saw the opportunity to not only do in the support and facilitation that we've always done, but to take a more focused approach and work with a finite number of persons to take them from a defined state of where they are to where, they, where we think that they ought to be. So we created this program and we certainly got the support of companies like the DBJ, Exim Bank, JPS, and the Bureau of Standards. We have seen export sales growing by over 30%, surpassing the target that we had set. We have also seen our companies penetrating a number of markets, much more also than we had expected. So we have gone over and above our own expectations. During the program, the exporters work. We have a, a memorandum of understanding that we sign with the companies at the outset of the program. We work together on a needs assessment, and then we develop a development plan. And over the two years, they work with us. We have a process by which we implement the program. So by, by and large, it really is that partnership, us working together on the elements of the development program. The long-term vision of this program is to build the capacity of our exporters, simply that. Now, we have completed Export Max 1, and we will continue to support them. 
but we are now looking at Export Max 2, which has a different flavor. It is now 20 exporters instead of 15. It is now for three years instead of two years. And we're bringing on the element of business mentoring and coaching to really zone and drill down to what issues are. So the long term here, it's consistent with the national export strategy and consistent with the mission of Jamper to really prepare our exporters for the global environment that is there.